Hi, I'm Barb Dufo, and I'm so glad you joined us today on the Wellness Connector. I've got a great topic today to share with you. Uh, it could be a little emotional, but powerful, powerful financial protection, powerful financial wellness strategies um, to protect yourself, your family, your business, um, on those you love. I mean, it's so powerful and important for me. Being in the financial services industry, it's so important for me to be able to um, be on the top of my game and surround myself with mentors that are teaching me so much about how to support my friends, my family, my, my clients, my coworkers on financial protection that's not just for when you die but while you're living because we all know someone who's had cancer or a heart attack or a stroke and we've seen the financial devastation because good news is we're surviving a lot of those diseases and, and crises. Um, the advancements in medical um, technologies these days and wellness technologies, um, which we'll visit a lot throughout our time together on the show, um, is really allowing people to become well again through some of those life crises and health crises. However, the financial ramifications of what those crises could do are staggering. Um, I don't know if you know this, but 48% of foreclosures and 48% of bankruptcies in small businesses fail because of a critical illness. A critical illness being cancer, heart attack, stroke, um, gosh, being hit by a car or getting in a car accident and being in a coma or those kinds of tragedies that happen um, cause financial devastation. And we want, we want those we love to have the time to heal and to get better and not be worrying about the financial stress. So that's why I'm excited today to share with you um, what's called the power of living benefits. True living benefits are where an, a life insurance policy, we call it the smartphone of insurance, cutting edge, that you have the death benefit in case, God forbid, you die too soon. However, now if you have something happen medically in that crisis, you're able to accelerate and use it while you're living, a portion or all of it. So we're gonna start off today by listening to one of my guest's testimonials, Jessica. She is a beautiful young mom with two beautiful boys, and she had one of those life crises. And I want you to hear her story and the power of the living benefits that gave her the opportunity to heal without the financial stress. So here's Jessica. that we were pregnant with Mason around April 2009. We had been trying for only a couple months and we finally got a positive pregnancy test. So we were very excited. Well, the day we brought our baby Mason home, we had been in the hospital for three days and we packed him up in his teeny tiny little car seat in his little dinosaur hoodie with his matching beanie and we were just so excited to start this new adventure, being parents of two little boys. Well, it was a crazy day. It was September 26th of 2011. Mason was nine months old, and I got a call from the doctor that had done all the tests, and they told me I had infiltrating ductal carcinoma, which to me was a different language. I had no idea what she meant and so she had to break it down and say, well Jessica, you have cancer. I was with her when she um, received the phone call from the doctor that gave her the results. You know, I knew the conversation wasn't positive and when she hung up, she looked at me and as she broke down, she told me she had breast cancer. You know, I was 30 years old, I was healthy, I had a nine-month-old baby, I was breastfeeding, I had a two-and-a-half-year-old. You know, you don't expect your child to tell you that 
they have cancer. You know, it's just not supposed to work that way. Treatment was the first thing I thought of, how to get rid of this cancer and get it out of my body. I did change my diet. I did do surgery and chemo and radiation. And thank God I did because I'm here today. Well, we first learned about life insurance through a really close family friend who is an agent. When I started going through treatments, through the chemo and the radiation, my agent came to me and said, look, we might be able to help you out here with your accelerated benefits and get you some money to help pay for medical bills. And he was definitely right. We helped with all of my medical bills and we really got to focus on me getting better instead of having the heavy burden of financial stress. Well, I just really never understood the power and flexibility of life insurance until the day that Jessica and Anthony received their living benefits check from National Life. And it just totally changed, you know, their financial outlook. My motto is live a life you love. So when I first got diagnosed with cancer, my husband Anthony bought a thousand pink bracelets that said my motto on it, live a life you love. So yes, I'll still wear it today. The more you open your eyes to love and let it flow in your life, the, the better life is going to be. I'm, I'm just so grateful that Jessica was responsible and got life insurance, that the agent, you know, was generous and sold Jessica this, you know, abundant policy, that National Life had the integrity and came through on their end of the deal, and that God answered all of our prayers. Well, my advice to people who think they're too young for life insurance is that you're never too young for life insurance. It's not just in case you die, it's to live a life that you love. I'm sure you found her, Jessica's story, very um, emotional and moving and inspirational as well. And it just again goes to point out that young people still need to be protected. You know, a lot of times I talk to young people and they say, oh, I don't have a family, I don't have kids, I don't, you know, it's just me. I don't need to worry about life insurance. But I tell them it's not about the death benefit. It's not about the beneficiaries. It's about what would happen to you. What would happen to your quality of life? What kind of debt could potentially you be put in because of something like what happened to Jessica at 30 years old being struck by cancer. So again, we know the statistics. One out of two of us will get cancer sometime in our lifetime. I protect my grandkids. I make sure all my kids have a policy because if your children, your underage children even get sick, I have a, a family member right now whose three-year-old grandson is fighting leukemia. That's the financial burden of the parents. That could clean out a family's retirement savings, equity in their home, or put them into a ton of debt from medical bills and time off work to care for that child. So we want to make sure that we even offer at all different budget, we fit every budget, to give our kids that jump start in that protection to give ourselves and give our businesses protection, our mortgages protection, all of those things to, like Jessica said, live the life that you love. Don't let an illness stop you because you're financially devastated and it takes you so many years to rebuild. So again, living benefit power and protection. Now I'm going to show you a short little clip, a little educational video that kind of wraps up living benefits in a nutshell, and then we'll come back and uh, talk more about it in just a second. Enjoy the video. When Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone in 1876, he designed it to do one thing, make phone calls. Uh, hello? These days, it seems we use our phones for everything but phone calls. Today's phones are our text messengers, calculators, books, planners, navigators, our cameras, music players, internet browsers, stock traders, even our flashlights. Phones evolved to include so many other useful features because we needed them to, yet we still just call them phones. This same evolution by necessity has happened with other products over the years, and life insurance is no exception. When life insurance was invented way back in the 1600s, it was also designed to do one thing, to financially protect your loved ones when your life is over. 
And like phones, life insurance evolved because we needed it to. With modern advancements in medicine, suffering a critical illness like a heart attack, stroke, or cancer diagnosis no longer necessarily means death. In fact, 90% of people who suffer a heart attack these days survive that event. That's where the new, evolved kind of life insurance policy comes in, one that adds living benefits. Living benefits policies are essentially the smartphones of life insurance. They allow your life insurance policy to not just be a parting gift, but also provide the ability to accelerate the death benefit if you suffer a critical, chronic, or terminal illness. This ability can help save your financial life by unlocking a whole new list of ways to use your policy while you're still living. Hello. And oftentimes, it does all of this at the same price as the old kind of life insurance. Living benefits protect you, your loved ones, and your wallet, not only in case you die, but also in case you don't. Two things always happen when you suffer a critical or chronic illness. Your expenses go up and your income goes down. When your expenses get higher than your income, that's when debt begins to pile up. This is the exact trap that so many Americans are falling into every single day. In fact, 60% of all bankruptcies that occur in the U.S. are the direct result of a critical illness and the medical expenses that follow. With living benefits, the policyholder has the option to accelerate a portion of their death benefit to replace their income and help with those added expenses. These benefits are the difference between just surviving the illness and having a life afterwards. And the best part is, they come at no extra cost to the consumer. So what kind of life insurance is protecting your family? Your granddad's traditional death benefit only coverage? I don't know if I'm hearing anything. Or the new evolved life insurance with built-in living benefits? If you're still using the rotary phone of life insurance, maybe it's time for an upgrade. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a, a great, short, little comical, entertaining video that is going to um, give you a quick view of living benefits in a nutshell. And the real powerful message I wanted you to pay attention to was if an illness strikes, what happens? The two major things that happen, your expenses go up and your income goes down. I don't know if you're aware, you know, a lot of us think, oh, I'll get disability through my work. I've paid into that for years. Be aware, disability insurance only pays up to about 55% of your income with maximums of about 1100 per week. So if you're making much more than that, a six-figure income earner, think about what that devastation could do to you and if you could survive off of that disability alone, especially with what the medical... Um, insurance industry is not covering so much anymore. They're certainly not covering alternative therapies and wellness therapies. That takes cash. So again, all those things that you want to have the freedom to be able to do if life happens and you need to take your wellness into your own hands. So we want to give you that power through our living benefits. So basically, critical illness is protected. If you have a million dollar life insurance policy, that's great if you die and your heirs can then be taken care of. But if you have a million dollars life policy with me, I'm an affiliate with the Alliance Group. We are an organization passionate to bring living benefit education to everyone out there. And that is their purpose and their passion. And so that is why I'm proud to be affiliated with Alliance Group. And you're going to see some of my colleagues and how they've helped others in um, and another guest that I'm going to share with you in a second in their story. But again, we've got to remember that the health care costs are rising and they're covering less and less of the treatments that we want. We don't want to be dictated by the health insurance industry what care we can get. If I got cancer, I'm not going to Google the cheapest cancer doctor. I'm going to look for the best. If my child got sick, I'm going to look for the best alternative therapies, the best specialists and I don't want to be held back by oh my insurance will cover this or it won't cover that and you know Medicare my mom is on Medicare and what they used to cover some of her medications are now costing her over a hundred dollars a month just for one medication and it's just changing and it's declining and what kind of protection we're gonna have so this is where I want to make sure that you connect with me so that I can teach you further about how you can protect yourself, your family, your business with living benefits. Now we're going to hear from another client, um, a family um, 
we've got um, Sophia and Carlton Dudley. We're going to hear from them. And here they are, a young family, a school teacher, a retail manager, just starting out raising their kids in their late 30s, and a heart attack strikes. And I want you to hear their story. It's very powerful. And how Living Benefits came through and saved their home. Enjoy. Sophia Dudley, 38 years old. I'm an elementary school teacher. Carlton Dudley, 35 years old, uh, retail manager. It was a whole lot of stuff coming through the mail about um, life insurance, and I really wanted to get it so in case something was to happen to me, that the house would be paid off and my children would be taken care of. I didn't know which one to choose, and I don't know what it was that I just picked Rick. My name is Rick Caffrey, and I've been an uh, insurance agent for 13 years now. It's been a very fulfilling career. I uh, really enjoy helping people, but uh, you know, I'll tell you the last six years has been incredible uh, since I started working with the Alliance Group and offering something extra in life insurance policies, which is living benefits. When we chose it, it wasn't something, as I said, as far as health. It was just for coverage. No sickness in my family, no high cholesterol, diabetes. I had a baby. We had a baby. Yeah. Beautiful. However, a week after my pregnancy, I suffered a heart, a heart attack. On July 10th of, of 09, I received a phone call from Mr. Dudley. They actually started out with great news. They'd had a little baby girl on June 30th, and uh, she was, you know, the mother, Sophia, was released from the hospital. Everything was apparently fine. But uh, she was shopping in the local Walmart and uh, actually suffered three heart attacks. Everything seemed so quick. It went from baby. Baby, heart attack. Yeah. Major heart, heart attack. attack. Triple just bypass. Nice. It just, everything just kind of happened real quickly. I mean, it was really grim. I felt, you know, I was calling uh, because, you know, I need, I don't know, I can't, I can't even, it's really, yeah. Uh. And Mr. Dolly and I talked while she was in the hospital about getting some relief, some financial relief through the policy's uh, critical illness rider, which allows the insurer to basically accelerate a huge lump sum of the policy. He had to take care of me, so neither one of us were working at the time. Because the bills were still there, the bills were just and because And then it was just stacking up. I yeah. mean, the world don't stop Stopped spinning. Soon. Let's figure out how much you actually need so that we don't use up the entire life insurance policy. And ultimately, they settled on a pretty sizable check, $120,000. Relief wasn't even a word, knowing that, you know, that's something that you didn't have to worry about. You know, there's many concerns you have. You have, of course, I have my wife concerned. I have my kids. I have me. I have so much other concerns. To be concerned about money at a time like that is just something that you don't want to worry about. We were able to deliver the check right here in the office. It was, a, it was just an, an emotional day. For us to even know him, like, it's not just like an agent yeah. thing, relationship. To know that they were going to use that money basically to keep from losing their home was just an incredibly fulfilling experience. Just give you some kind of peace of mind that you know that you have that benefit out there for yourself. Life isn't scripted. Doesn't know doesn't know when gonna, something's going to happen to you. Well, welcome back. I hope you were inspired by um, the Dudley story, and you could see how you've really got to make sure that you're speaking to the financial professionals, the insurance specialists that are bringing to you the cutting edge programs and in life insurance that are out there. And that's why I'm so passionate about being in this industry and being there for my clients. My clients become like family and they know I'm there with, through the, with them. Just like you saw in the Dudley video, you saw their agent Rick, who's a colleague of mine, take such good care of them and walk them through their medical crisis and also deliver that check that is tax-free and never has to be paid back. Powerful. Living benefits come at no extra cost. Why wouldn't you change in your old policy for something new and cutting edge that adds layers of protection? So again, I'm here for you to give you all that information, to show you what it would look like, to show you the contributions and how affordable it is. So I'm looking forward to following up with you with that. And before we close today, I want to make sure that you get to hear from our final guest. And this is Robert. And Robert has such an inspirational story. And it's a little bit longer because of his um, 
diagnosis with ALS, so his speech has been um, much more challenged, but he is an inspirational story, and I'm so glad that we were able to give Robert and his wife the gift, as he calls it, wheels. They took off and they traveled before the disease had deteriorated him so much that he couldn't enjoy it. And he went off and saw family across the world because he had living benefits that he could access immediately. He didn't have to wait for all of his other benefits to kick in. And he could go and enjoy his um, life while he still was well enough to do that. And that's again, the power of living benefits. So please visit me at my website. Please reach out to me, email me, call me, let's chat. I want to get you and your family protected. I've been an insurance specialist for years and I'm so excited that I could bring this education to you and enjoy, enjoy Robert's story and we will see you soon. This just doesn't happen to the other guy. I was the other guy. I was in the Navy for 27 years, and I served as a Navy pilot for the last 17 years of my career. Being the single man, condo, nice car, you know, it is San Diego. So I thought if something happened to me, all of it would be gone. I wanted to be able to leave something to my children and I thought life insurance was a good way to do that. I knew in my case, I was at a comfortable position in life, but it took a lot to get there. And having this national life group policy with the living benefits, it's a cliche, but I was able to exhale. I had a buffer. I knew there was a safety net. Last September, I was as healthy as anyone in the world. I stopped smoking in 72. I exercised three or four days a week. I ate healthy, drank moderately, and my plan was to live for a hundred years. And I really thought I could do it. So October came along and I would, had been at the gym one day and I noticed walking down the hallway at work, I developed a slight limp in my left leg. And I thought, oh, it's a gym. I injured something in the gym. And when weeks passed, it didn't get better. It got worse and by mid-November, it was really bad. And I was at the VA hospital mid-December for an unassociated appointment. And the nurse asked me that famous question, how you feeling? And I told her, except for choking and limping, I'm fine. She said, when, you're, when we are done, you're going to the emergency room. So in January 30th, the VA sent me to an outside neurologist at UCSD. 
He asked me why I think, why I thought the VA had sent me to see him. And I said, you're the expert. We need a second opinion. And he said, without question, you have ALS. He drew the line in the sand. It uh, brought me to tears. The reality was written on paper. And that moment was very difficult. My hundred year plan had changed. I got an offer back from National Life Group that gave me options what to do. Seven o'clock, I gathered my things at work and told them goodbye. I retired that day. My condition was manageable at the time and I have other benefits, but it would take time for them to come. This benefit enabled me to retire, and I took my wife back to her home in the Philippines for 34 days and I was healthy enough to make that trip. And when I got back, she went to Costa Rica to visit family. I went to North Carolina to visit mine. But I thank God in heaven for this policy and what it gave me and my wife while I was healthier. So it's given me wheels. <laughs>